Hello, Lorraine. Hi. Mire, solo Lorena saludó. What happens with the others? Good evening. Good evening, George. How was your day, people? Very nice. Nice. Good. Yeah. How, how was your day, Maria? I'm so tired. Okay. Sure. Yeah, Hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, Felix. What about you, George? How was your day? Hello. Uh, very hard. Yeah. In my work. Okay. Are you in San Salvador? Yes. What part of San Salvador? Mexicano. Oh, okay. Good. What about you, Flor? How was your day? Uh, was good, I think. Okay. You work for IRS, right? Yes, I work for IRS. Okay, good, good. All right. Okay, so welcome back, everybody. It's good to have Thanks. you back. Remember that the class is only one hour per day. How many hours are there in one day? 24 hours. 24. And how many hours is your English class? Just one. Just one. How do you say aprovechar in English? Take advantage. Take advantage. Okay. Take advantage. Take advantage. Advantage. Take advantage. Okay. So it's only one hour for your English class, so take advantage. Anyways, uh, what's today's date? Today is today is 20, July 20. 20. Okay, do you say 20 or 20th? 20. 20th. Okay, let, let me put it 20th. in the chat. Okay. 20. Is it 20? or 20th which one is correct july 20th. 20 or july 20th 20th why 20th? 20th yes your answer is good why 20th why because you you have to add th like okay and what does wow. th indicate that is a date okay ordinal or cardinal Ah. Ordinal. 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 Yeah. So in El Salvador, we say primero de agosto. What is the following day? Dos de agosto. We say primero de diciembre. What is the following day? Dos de diciembre. But English is different. All the calendar, the 31 days, the 365 days of the year, every day is ordinal. So, what is after December 1st? December 2nd. December 2nd. What is after July 2nd? July 5th. July 3rd. July 3rd. Anyways, it's okay. So, welcome back. Thank you for making the space. Thank you for dedicating one hour to your English class. Do you remember the topic that we covered um, yesterday? Yes. Maria, yes. what do you remember? Um, we use, we use, use, use to. Uh -huh. What's used the function to. of used to? Good. What's the function it of used is, to? It's an activity you, um, you, do, you do. You did? You did in the past. Um, and not in present. Exactly. Not in present. Excellent. Yes. So an action you did in the past, but not in present, not anymore. So how do you say solía acostarme temprano? I used to. I used to go to, to bed get early. Up. Excellent. I used to go to bed early. Yes, I used to go to bed early. How do you say solía trabajar los domingos? I used, I to, used to work, work, work on, Sunday. on Sunday. Excellent. How do you say no solía tomar agua? I didn't use to drink water. Excellent. 
<laughs> we didn't <laughs> use to drink water. Drink How do water. you say, no solíamos tener carro? We, we didn't, didn't use, use, use to have a car. car. Okay, okay. Ahora pregúnteme. Usted me ve en tres años y me dice, mire, y usted solía vivir en Lourdes. How do you make that question in English? Did you Did used you to live, to live, live, live in, in Lourdes? Lourdes? So, Excellent. Please. Very good. Very good. Nice. So used to makes a direct connection with the simple past. How many tenses do we have in English? Twelve. Twelve. Excellent. Twelve tenses. Twelve tenses. Simple Twelve. present, simple past, past continuous, blah, 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 blah. Twelve tenses. They tell you. Tell you. Every, every, every tense has a particular structure. Every tense has a particular function. What is the other function of the simple past? What is the other function of the simple past? For example, uh, imagine you go to the doctors and the doctor tells you, si usted bebiera más agua, how do you say that in English? If you drink more water, water. Uh -uh. If, you, if you drink, uh -uh. if you should drink, uh -uh. you uh -uh. will. Uh -uh. If you <laughs> okay. All right, let you me ask you. More water. Let, let me ask you. <laughs> what is the past tense of drink? Drink. 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 So imagine that I'm the doctor and I say, look, if you drink more water, Si usted bebiera más agua. So this is, this is the... Uh, no conditional. That's the second conditional. Okay. That's the second conditional. Second conditional, we use them to talk about hypothetical situations. What is the meaning of hypothetical? Hypothetical. A, a situation. Hypothetical. What, uh -huh, a situation. Maybe. 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 We suppose something. Okay, you suppose something, something that is not real when you're speaking. So listen to this. It, it might be real if you change. So listen to this. How do you say, si yo fuera al gimnasio? If I, if I went to the gym. If I went <laughs> to the gym, I would be perdería peso. I would lose weight. I would I lose, lose weight. Lose. So, can I lose weight? Yes, if you go to the gym. But at the time okay. you're speaking, at the time you're speaking, the person is not going to the gym. So let me let me show you okay. something. Okay, can you hold on? Now this is not too clear. Share screen. All right. Give me a second. Uh -huh. Right here. So listen to this. Like I was explaining, and this topic is for the rest of your lives. It's for the rest of your lives. So look here. Uh, this, this simple past tense has double function. What is the first one? Something that happens in the past and finishes in the past, right? Right. Okay. What is the second function? To use it with the second conditional. So the if clause, the if clause, you must use the simple past tense. Okay. So the doctor tells you, si usted tomara agua, en ese momento le está diciendo que usted no toma agua. So if you drank more water, how do you say riñones in English? Kidneys, kidneys. kidneys. If kidneys. you drank more water, let me put it in the chat. Kidneys, take care of your kidneys, people. Kidneys. Kidneys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kidneys. So if you drank more water, your kidneys will be happy. Got it? So yes. you go to the doctor, say, doctor, I have a pain on my back. 
And they say, Francisco, if you drink more water, your kidneys would be happy. In this moment, Francisco is not drinking water. So the doctor's comment is hypothetical. So whether the information is positive or negative, pay attention, you must use the simple past form. That's mandatory. What is the negative auxiliary we use for the simple past? Did. The negative didn't. auxiliary. Didn't. 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 So how do you say, si yo no te conociera? If I didn't know, I didn't. If I didn't you. know you, I would give you the money. Si no te conociera, te daría el dinero. So what is the message there? He knows the person. It's hypothetical. Look at the examples. If I had the time, I would learn Italian. How do you say that in Spanish? Si tuviera tiempo, aprendería italiano. Exactly. Si tuviera tiempo, aprendería italiano. What is the message? The person doesn't have time. What is the structure? You use the simple past to say, si yo tuviera tiempo. If I won the lottery, how do you say that one in Spanish? Si ganara la lotería. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasaría si ganara la lotería? Viajaría. So, winning the lottery is hypothetical. Maybe it's one in a million, you know? So, it's hypothetical. So, once again, um, uh, you use the simple past tense also to express hypothetical situation. Questions? How would you improve your vocabulary? How do you say, si yo leyera mas? If I read more. If I read more, if I read more, I will improve my vocabulary. Uh -huh. How would you improve your pronunciation? I read, I will practice. If I practice. If I practiced. Practiced is in the simple past. Uh -huh. Yeah, if I practiced more, I would be more fluent, right? Or if you say, Si yo no hablara español durante el día. How do you say that? If I didn't speak Spanish. Spanish. Excellent. If I didn't speak Spanish all day, I would be more fluent. I would be more fluent. Now, listen to this. How do you say si yo estuviera en México? If I was in Mexico. If I was in Mexico. If I were. If I were, listen to this. Listen were, to this. Uh, this is this is the ex, this is the structure. Listen carefully. But for uh, English grammar, you have a rule. But there is always an exception. This is the rule. But there is an exception. So what is the exception here? You're going to use were, were. with all personal pronouns. Was okay. does not exist. Okay. So how do you say, si ella estuviera aquí? If she were here. Were. If she were here. Okay. If she were here. You say, but were, but the past tense of is, is was. Right. Okay. But in this second okay. conditional topic, was it does not exist. exist. Okay. It doesn't exist. So how do you say, si yo tuviera pelo largo? If I were alone him. If uh, I... Long. If I allow him, uh -uh. if, if I, I had, had, if, if I had, had, if I had, had, if I had long hair, long hair, long hair, tendría calor. I How do you say tengo calor? I don't know. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I would be hot. I would be hot. So, if I had long hair. I would be hot. Got it? Yes. Okay. Now, what do you understand by the word paraphrase? What is paraphrase? It's like to say uh -huh. something, but not literally. Exactly. Um, so this is what you will do. I will ask you to work in pairs and you will paraphrase what you understood from this. This topic is high frequency. 
es de alta frecuencia. La gente todo el tiempo está ocupando el second conditional. Got it? So, once again, if I'm working with Jorge Díaz, imagine, and Francisco is not answering, Jorge Díaz is supposed to raise his hand and tell the instructor, look, Francisco is not saying anything. So, si su compañero o compañera no habla, levante la mano, inmediatamente lo paso a otro salón. Here we go. Give me a second. 28 people. I will create 14 couples. Create rooms. Add a room. Here we go. Paraphrase. Yo y no sé cómo. El teacher que hace. Teacher. ¿O quién? Yes, Corey. It's me, Francisco. Hey, hi, teacher. How are Billy, you? Billy just uh, got in. No, I don't know. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah, yeah. And Billy just got in. Yeah, acaba yeah. de llegar, acaba de entrar. Good. What's up, Billy? And, uh, Why are you uh, late, Billy? <laughs> I was out. I'm going to use this with you. <laughs> hey, be careful. Yeah, so don't play like that. <laughs> okay. right. Give me a second. Somebody's calling me. Give me a second. Okay. Jose. Hey, hello. Okay, let me move you to another room. Jose, okay. I will send you to room one. Go ahead. Ladies. Hello. How are you, ladies? Fine, teacher. Good. Did you have a nice day today? No. Yes. No? Why not, Sylvia? I, my day was very busy. Okay. Where do you work again, Sylvia? No. Right now, I am... Oh, you're a housewife, right? Yes, but my mom was operate on Sunday. Oh, 
Okay. And I am taking care and taking care, taking her, taking care of her. Yeah, taking know. care of her. Of her and I taking care of her business. Oh, okay. So you're very busy. Yes. All right. Okay, so you need to administrate your time well. You have to be organized. Yes. Okay, all right. What about you, Carla? How was your day? Oh, thank God, uh, very good. Nice. And Annie Menhiva, how was your day? Uh, my day is very uh, tired. Uh, really? Yes, uh, more activities uh, uh, than usual. Pero I, I am. Hey, yeah, you're here. here. That's good. Yeah. good. All right, let me visit another room. I can give you, I can give you a, a sentence in Spanish and you tell me in English. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. I want to hear example. this. <laughs> For example, si yo comiera vegetales, estaría más sana. If I, I, if I, what's the I, past tense of eat? Excellent. If I ate vegetables, 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 where is it? Vegetables, vegetables. Okay. Estaría más sana. I would like. I would to, be. I would be. It will be a straight. Uh, healthier. Healthy. Uh, healthy. Healthier. 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 Very good. Very good. Nice. <laughs> it could be more health. No. Uh -uh. Uh, okay. Let me explain. Uh, when you're making comparatives, when you say healthy, how many syllables do you hear? Two. 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 So, what is the last letter in healthy? Why? Why, exactly. So, this is the rule. If the adjective has two syllables and the last letter is Y, you will say healthier, prettier, uglier, fancier. You will put ER, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Now, you can say, if, if I ate vegetables, I will be more healthy. People would understand, but grammatically speaking, it's not good. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello. People. Hello. How are you, Carla? Good. Hello. Nice. Kevin. Okay, do you guys have any questions about the second conditional? Yes. Uh -huh. Just let me put the video because okay. right now, hi. Hi. Okay. Hello, how are you? Hi. Fine, tighter because uh, right now I, I, I in the in the transportation of my work. <laughs> okay, all right. So why is is necessary to use the 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 verb in past that is um okay we have zero conditional first conditional second conditional and third conditional mm -hmm. with the second conditional it's mandatory that to sound hypothetical mm -hmm. you need to use the, the simple past tense so you say si yo me bañara temprano what is the past tense of take a shower it took so, so if shower. I took a shower earlier, I would be very cold. Uh, me daría uh, frío. Si me despertara temprano, if I woke up earlier, so why? That is just a rule. But you need to use the simple past uh, tense to use the second conditional. Uh, so the information can be positive or it can be negative. So if I said, si yo no usara lentes, if I didn't use glasses, so it's a negative sentence, so I have to use didn't. 
Ah, uh, but you use the verb in present. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, so, okay. si yo no viviera en los chorros, en Lourdes, if I didn't, I didn't live, live in Lourdes, Lourdes ah. I would be in San Salvador, maybe. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, positive or negative, it's mandatory that you use the simple past form. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. But in the moment that you use it, the verb is going to be... Base form. Base form. Ah, yes. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Okay. Let me move this person here. Okay. So, let me visit one more room and then we go back to the main session. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Ladies. Hi. How Hi. are you? If I can visit my teacher, I would take a tea with him. Okay, one more time, Lorraine. <laughs> if I could visit my teacher, I would like to take a, a coffee with him. Excellent. Me too. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you know, one day, one day, you know, I was teaching a, a, an online class and that was more than a year ago. So I go to a gas station to get some drinks and there is a, there is a guy and I said, hey, you look familiar. And he says, yes, you look familiar too. And I start thinking, well, oh my God, you're one of my students on, on, <laughs> online, you know, and we were just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so one day maybe we get the chance to to meet in yeah. person. Yeah, I would like to meet. Yeah, Adriana, where do you live, Adriana? I live in Santa Tecla. Oh, and you, Lorraine? In Ayotuxtepeque. Oh, Ayotuxtepeque. What part of Ayotuxtepeque? In front of Ciudad Corinto. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, you told me. You told yeah. me. All right, good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, welcome back. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Hello, teacher. Did you miss Hello. Me? Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Stop we, lying. <laughs> we were lost. Okay. Okay, look. Alguien que se mete, como este es un fondo de pantalla. Llega el esposo de una vez, se mete aquí y se ve que entra. All right, anyways. Um, any questions about how to use the second conditional? Okay. When you are supporting an action or something? Hola, hola, hola. Okay, so, so you use the second conditional when you're using your imagination when the verb that you're using is hypothetical. In other words, it's not true at the time you're speaking. At the time of seeking. Si yo viviera en Santana, ¿qué quiere decir ahí? Que yo no vivo en Santana. So it's hypothetical. Si yo no tuviera hijos, quiere decir que sí tengo hijos. So that is hypothetical. Mm -hmm. Questions mm -hmm. or comments? Teacher, the yes. second conditional is uh, form to pass, to simple past. Or uh, the I if clause, Remember that the, the, the zero conditional, first, second, and third conditional, they have two parts. The second conditional has the if clause, and the if clause needs to be in the simple past. And then the, the consequence, if we can call it like that, you can say would or could. How do you say, si me dijeras la verdad? If you tell me the truth. If you told me. If you told me. If you told me. Podría ayudarte. If you told me the truth, I could help you. I could. I could help you. Or if you told me the truth, I would help you. Te ayudaría. So you can you can use would or could because the two models they express a possibility. A possibility is not for sure, so it's it's hypothetical. Questions or comments? Is is optional to use a word and cool? Uh, it depends. Yeah. If, if, because mm -hmm. if I said, if you told me the truth, si usted me dijera la verdad, I could help you. 
podría ayudarte. If you told me the truth, I would help you. Yo te ayudaría. Now, the message is similar, but they're not completely the same. So, could is a possibility. Would makes the verb into something hypothetical, something unreal. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Carla. For example, I say, if I spoke English, I would not. Oh. I would not what? Be in this class. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. If I spoke English, I yes. wouldn't be in this class. Your example is good. Would not. Would not, exactly. You, you contract. Or, or, or you can say wouldn't. And now that you mentioned, and this is for everybody, native speakers, they always use contractions all the time, all the time. So you must use contractions too. So when you speak with a gringo, you understand what they're telling you because they use contractions all the time. So if I spoke English, like Carla says, I wouldn't be in this class. Yeah. Questions. How do you say si yo no usara lentes? If I didn't use glasses. Uh -huh. If I didn't use glasses, if I did if I didn't wear glasses. Mm -hmm. All right, questions. Questions, questions? No? Okay, so now it's clear that uh, the simple past uh, is also used to talk about uh, hypothetical situations, like a condition. Okay, so let's change topic. That was the grammatical part for today. Now we go to the free practice. Uh, what is your opinion about animals? Do you like animals? Yes. It depends. Yes. Depend. Yes. Depends yes, on I what? Like. It depends. Depends uh, on example, what? For example, I, I like the dog, uh, but I don't like the cats. Okay. I, I hate yeah, the cats. I like cats. Yeah. <laughs> I like cats. I, I, I like dogs. I hate dogs. <laughs> I hate <laughs> the <animals>. uh, Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, domestic animals, you know, people usually okay. have uh, cats, dogs, sometimes <laughs> rabbits. <laughs> Boosters, birds, sometimes fish. Okay. What about wild animals? What is your favorite wild animal? Wild. Huh? Wild. Lion. The, the, the lion. The elephant. The elephant. The elephant. Uh -huh. Tiger. Spiders. Turtle. Snakes. No. Monkeys. Gorillas. Birds. Alligators. Alligators. <laughs> I hate about dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> dolphins. Yeah. Dolphin. There are there are uh, a lot of, of of animals that you know we can choose from. Okay. So I'm gonna show you a set of questions, and congratulations because uh, los que se están quedando solitos me están diciendo, mire, estoy solo o no me responde, so inmediatamente los muevo para allá. So that's good. Okay, so I'm going to rearrange uh, your partner and you will answer the questions about animals. Any questions before we start? No. And remember, imagine that I'm working with uh, Jaime Gutierrez and Jaime Gutierrez is talking to me in Spanish. You say, Jaime, I'm sorry. I'm here to practice my English, not to practice Spanish. Got it? <laughs> Got it. Okay. No Spanish. No Spanish. Here we go. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Recreate. Mm -hmm. 13, 12. Recreate. Add one. Here we go. What's that sound? A dog. A dog. What is the dog doing? Barking. It's barking. Good. Oh, I didn't show you the picture. I mean, the questions. Give me a second.
Pero mira, mira, si no quiere venir a hacer. Uh, teacher. <laughs> yes, sir. Adrian, how are you? Yes, uh, fine. Uh, and you? Good. Okay, I'm sorry that I don't have a classmate. But okay, I couldn't, uh, okay, don't worry. Press the button. Okay, uh -huh. I'm going to send you to room four. Okay, thanks. All right, good. Room four. Was three parrots. Sorry, three parrots, uh, but uh, uh, two were uh, 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 macho. Well, ah, male and female, I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Yolanda, you're right, male and female. Mm -hmm. okay. Not male. Male and but uh, uh, a white animal, I think maybe um, the lion, but um, or maybe I hate the snake. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I I am very afraid about snakes. Snake are cool. No. <laughs> How do you say garrobo? Uh, iguana. <laughs> or iguana. Iguana. Yeah. But it's not the same animal? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, because iguana, I think it's the, it's the female, is it? Mm. I'm not female? sure. But I'll find out how to say garrobo in English. <laughs> Teacher, I have a question. Yes, how do, uh, say, how do you say provecho when uh, you don't want it? Uh, enjoy. Enjoy your food. Yeah, enjoy <laughs> your food, right. Or you say, um, what do you call it? Some people say uh, bon appetit, but bon appetit is a, is a French expression. Yeah. But the real version in English is enjoy. Uh, okay, uh, and profit, what is the meaning? Ganancia. Like a money. Like money, right. Profit. Uh, okay. Profit. Profit. Yes. All right, good. Let me visit another room. <laughs>
the world. <laughs> and you? Um, my, my favorite series uh, of all time is Breaking Bad. I love that series. <laughs> I think that is a little uh, boring. That any animal like to receive a, a baton. Uh -huh. They are can do that. That's good and very interesting. They yeah. must to to teach that to my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, my cat, um, he, he, <laughs> ah. <laughs> more, try to say more things. Mm, I don't know, <laughs> it's difficult. No, mm. you have to try. It's, it's my favorite animal because he always be with me. Mm -hmm. He always be happy. In the maceta. Uh, yeah. I don't know how do you say maceta. Flower pot. Oh, oh flower, flower pot. <laughs> flower pot. Pot is maceta. Pot. Yes, P O T. P as in Papa, O as in Oscar, T as in Tango. Okay. Pot, flower pot. Flower pot. And how do you say, oh, mi jardín no tiene tierra. My yard doesn't have soil. Exactly. Oh, so okay. That's the correct word, soil. Soil. Y yes. decir solamente como piso o cemento? It's only concrete. Only concrete. It's only concrete. Yeah, okay. or cement. Concrete um, or cement. When you tell about animals, you always use it. Uh, if it's one, you say it. If it's plural, you need to say they. And how do you say what um, sex of, of the what animal? Sex? Male or female? How, how male or female. Male, male or female. female. Now, male or female. Now, if I visit your house, and I see a dog or a cat, I say, oh, that's a nice puppy. Mm -hmm. I can say, is it a he or a she? Now, grammatically speaking, it's not good because he and she is just for people. But yeah. since we're talking about gender, you can say he or she. Okay. But the real expression is male or female. In the, in the question is, is it a male is it, or is it a female? Yes. Is it a male or is uh, it a female? Yeah. Yep. And when you talking about the raza, right? Breathe. Right? Breathe. Breathe. No. Breathe. Let, let me put it in the chat. Okay. Breathe. Race is only for Race. people. Oh. Okay. Breathe is for animals. Raza animals. Yeah. Breed is what we say, raza for animals, right. Okay. And the question is, what kind of breed are, is your dog? For exactly, example? yeah. Huh. So you say, is, is it a Doberman, a Pitbull, a, uh -huh. a, 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 a Rottweiler? Yeah. You like big dogs or small dogs? Small dogs. Small dogs. You, Ellie? Uh, how do you say ninguno? <laughs> None. You don't None. like dogs. You don't no, like I, dogs? I don't like dogs. I like birds. Oh, okay. What birds. Kind of oh, Australian birds. Barranqueños. <laughs> okay. And, and how do you say Lora? Um, you say a parrot. Parrot, but another kind, uh, another... Yeah, the, the big parrot. Big, uh, big parrot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. parrot. Okay. Oh, Good. All right. Do you guys have animals in your houses? Uh, 
I don't have animals because okay. I have a, a daughter. Okay. How old is your daughter? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. What about you, Carla? Do you have animals in your house? Yes, I have. <laughs> what, what do you have? I have a dog, rabbit, and fish, and turtle. Good, good. Very similar when I was a kid. You know, when I was a kid, I used to have dogs, fish, uh, turtles, and white rats. White rats. Yeah, white. <laughs> yeah, white rats. Yeah, I I don't understand. White rats. Ratas blancas. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but <laughs> now if I see a white rat, for me it's very disgusting. I said, oh no, does you know? So even if the color is white, it, how it's many rats? rats? Uh, I think I had only one or two, oh. but they were inside a cage. You know, but I was a kid. Okay. But my now, son, he wants a, a white rat. When but I was a child, I, don't know. I, I, don't want. I had a, how do you say, iguanas? Iguana. Iguana. Two uh -huh. iguanas. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, to have iguanas, you need to have a big house. <laughs> big <No>. trees. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, es, uh, how do you say, ellas pasaban, or? They used to spend? They used to, to spend in a jaula. Cage, oh, okay. Cage? Yeah, how cage, you, like Nicholas you... Cage. Cage, uh, it's right there in the chat, cage. cage. Jaula. Uh-huh. Cage. Yep. Okay, so yeah, I think I want us. They need to be free in a big garden, in a big tree, but not in a no. cage. No, no. Oh, sometimes we go out. Oh, carry them. Carry them with you. Uh huh. Okay. Out uh, near to our house, and there are. Uh, Campito, how do you say? Yeah, a field. A field. Okay. Yeah. How old is your son, Carla? Oh, uh, my son is thirty years old. Three. Thirty. 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 Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, sorry. Thirteen. Yes, yeah, say thirty. Thirteen. But Carla is not thirty. <laughs> Thirteen. Oh my yeah. God, he's, he's, he's a little bit big. Yeah, I oh. I have no. I yes. When he was I, born, or I had him. Okay, I had him twenty one years old when he, she no he born. When he was born. He was born. Yes. Okay. All right. So, but you look very young, Carla. Oh, thank you, but I three five. Okay, good. You age well. You age okay. well. Okay, thank she you. She's tragaño, dude. Yeah, she <laughs> ages well. She ages well. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Okay, let me visit another classroom and then we go home. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Hi teacher. Hello, Maria. Hello, Hello. Michelle. How okay. are you? Fine, fine, and you? Good, fine. Did you finish with the conversation with your questionnaire? Yes, sure. Okay. I I was thinking about you for us. Oh no, no. You no, know, the thing is that sometimes I visit classrooms and I start talking, blah blah blah, and I say, Oh my god, I gotta go to another class, you know. <laughs> so but, but we're we talk yeah. about uh-huh pets about animals yeah. about our life <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yes yeah, that's good i mean as long as as you use uh the language it, it's okay it's fine yeah okay thank you all right all right let me visit one more room and then we go home okay okay let me see this is room 11 room 12. this topic hello ladies Hello, teacher. 
Any questions or comments about animals? <laughs> no? Just a little, uh, just a few animals and, <laughs> and we have a speaking. Uh, a lot. Man, a lot. <laughs> Okay, good. The color of animal. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's good. I, I mean, like, yeah, so as long as you're using English, that's fine. All right, let's return to the main session. Okay. All right, all right. Any questions or comments about animals? You know, animals, they have families, reptiles, mammals, uh, insects, fish. So they come in different families. Any questions or comments? How do you say alacrán? Uh, scorpion. Scorpion. No? Scorpion. How do you say iguana? Iguana. 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 I want to go now. <laughs> I want to go. Yes. Yeah. Also, how do you say peligro de extinción? Okay, they are in danger of extinction. Danger. Uh-huh. Or you can say endangered species. Endangered species. species. Yeah. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's 10 o'clock. Thank you very much for the one hour that you dedicated to improve your English. We continue tomorrow. Same place, same time. Have a good night. 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 Good